Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, we're going to use the next 10 minutes to lead you through our initiative, which is fostering innovation in tourism program. And we're going to launch also the 2023 ed edition. So first of all, uh, we've, we've managed to build in the last five years a network of almost 50 incubators and accelerators all over the country, covering, I would say, almost all regions. And this is one very important, very important, uh, I would say, KPI of our of our progress is to matter to engage with 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 so many uh, talented people. The, the the goal of this program has actually two two most two main important uh, uh, pillars. One is to drive and to foster new ideas for the sector. Technology, but, not, but also innovative programs that are not technological are key for the progress of, of the tourism in Portugal, are key for us to remain competitive. The second pillar that we want to push is those ideas have to be implemented in our companies. And we want to support our companies to address the challenges of innovation. And we are fortunate to see around here some of the companies that have been working with us recently. Uh, we are celebrating our five, year, um, uh, five years of our program. And we did, I would say, what in terms of policy is the right thing to do, which, which is to do as, uh, an evaluation of what went well, what went less well. And we are uh, very happy that we had almost 1,400 startups participating in our programs, in our almost 70 programs that we've de developed in, in, in recent years. But one of the most important things that I wanted to, to, to add here is we have 80 companies. And when we've started this program, it was us and the startups pushing for ideas. Now we have the companies, and some of them are here. Um, very engaged within our programs, especially in the op or open innovation programs. And the 75 pilots that we've been managed to do in our, in our programs are actually one very important KPI of our journey. And the open innovation program, it was the last initiative that we had. And the clear objective of this was to connect startups and very t talented solutions that we have on, the, on, on a process with companies that understand that they have they, they have problems, and this, I would say, is an act of courage to understand that your business is, has challenges that you have to overcome, and we connected them. And uh, one of the most important KPIs from that is from 75 pilots that we've managed to do, startups get, got uh, 11 contracts. So it, this means that there is talent available for companies to, to invest in and to actually transform their businesses. The last two years with the pandemic, not, not all, all, all the things were bad. Actually, the ecosystem proved to be in the right direction and to help actually companies to, to, to move forward and to, and to progress on that. These are a little bit our vision and the vision that we shared with our ecosystem on, on the impact. We have four winners of UN WTO competitions. <laughs> so it means that our talent, and some of them are here, Luggett, I, I can see Luggett here is one, one clear example. So our startups are competitive internationally. And this is one very important point to prove that there is value around. 17 of them were invested by Portugal Ventures, which since the beginning is our main financing partner within this, this process. But we believe that we have also to open to other venture capital firms to invest in the talent that we have in our, in our country. Finally, we're also boosting and working uh, along with, with NAST in, to have in the Future Labs initiative fr from NAST to have the opportunity to have our startups to test their, their, those ideas. Investing is not, uh, innovating is not an easy thing. Especially it's easy when others do, but when you do in your own company is actually a challenge and being able to have a lab where you can test what works, what cannot work, it's, uh, I would say, a very, a very important key pillar of our, of our program. Today we're launching the 2023 edition. I'm going to give the floor to Christina Salsinha to, to move forward with the presentation. Christina. Okay, thank you. Good morning, everyone. So, great news for this year. We have an increase on our budget for the program uh, Fostering Innovation in Tourism to 1.3 million euros. And, um, but before, go, 
diving a bit on, the pro, uh, on this year edition, just let me uh, give you an overview of our ecosystem. Since the beginning of the, uh, the launch of the program FIT, uh, we've been working with all the players and uh, from the, the, the investors part to the, co the corporators, but there's a player that we must make a push and bring them to the tourism sector, which, which is the universities and the tech, uh, te tech centers, and we must have them on board. And this year, this program will make, we'll, uh, we're going to make this effort to have them on the program, the Fostering Innovation in Tourism program. Another thing that we must continue doing is having all the, the Portuguese players related to travel working with us, helping startups to grow, and also for them to incorporate innovation by participating in all the process of the programs. And we want to bring innovation to all the country. That's the reason why this year we are making an effort for uh, helping programs that are held in low density territories. So these are the main, uh, let us say, drivers for the programs. We have three um, calls. The first one will be the call for ideation, an ideation challenge and free accelerator program. What we aim? We aim that incubators and accelerators of the network work together to present us their pro uh, proposals for running this ideation challenge, covering the whole country and bringing the universities and technological centers on board for us to identify new talent and create new value for, for the industry. That's a main driver. The main challenges or priorities will be the same as, as last year. So we're talking about seamless experience, also about uh, sustainability, a smart mobility, smart management, and helping, helping the industry finding solutions and products to be more digitized and more competitive. This a call has a budget of 150,000 euros. The program, the accelerator programs, it's another call that we have. And in this one, we want to have a more engaged com to companies in the process in order to help founders develop their solutions that better fit the market's needs and to be also more competitive internationally. And we also want the help of the network by organizing these programs and having some activities that are tailored to the universities. We need to have more capital, human capital on board, and we need the universities and tech centers to do that. This budget for, for the budget for this call is 700,000 euros, and the main priorities are the strategic assets and themes of the uh, tourism strategy, and also either can be technical, technological um, solutions, biometric, biometrics or uh, clean tech. We're targeting to the needs of the new, the new, camp, uh, the new tourism uh, behavior. And for the open, the open innovation programs, which are run with the, uh, with the companies, for that we have a budget of 400,000 euros. And what we've learned learn in these two years that we're running these open innovation programs with the accelerators is that the more focused are the companies in identifying the challenges, bigger are the chances that they work together with startups. And this is really, really important 
for the startups to help them grow, to help them adapt sometimes their product, but also for the companies, the corporations, because they learn different ways to work, they learn how to be more agile and to be more competitive in, 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 in a faster way. And that's it, Sergio, which we want well, to... Uh, all information will be available in, in our in our website. Also, we will contact all the incubators of our network to share uh, uh, all this information. For the companies here, please engage with our accelerators. Uh, your participation is critical for us to make this happen. Any question, email us. We will. We are here exactly to support you in this uh, challenge of innovation. Thank you very much. Thank you.